This next video will show you the power of using views within Project Tracker. So to understand views we need to open up the uh, filter tab on the right hand side and we have four options for creating uh, views or layouts. So the first is with uh, scope or WBS so if we wanted to just look at the superstructure section of the program we could select that and we can see a curve based on the superstructure elements or if we wanted to look at superstructure and finishes together we could do that. Now these can be saved into views so that they don't have to be created every single time and this is the beauty that we can then create multiple reports very quickly so I could call this the super and finishes view and I'm just going to select batch print there I'm going to explain that in a second and we could have the uh, substructure, look at the substructure element. So when we've got this, this opens up and we're very quickly now, we can flick between our views to see uh, all the different elements involved in our program. We could also filter by code, so if we wanted to look at maybe the uh, labourer, and we could create a labourer view. And obviously we could look at people together if we wished. So you've got complete flexibility. So I could look at the roofer from the substructure section as well. So these can be a combination as well. Alternatively, we can have resource views. So I want to look at just the labourer's work or the bricklayer's work. Uh, and obviously that in tandem then would allow me if it was a bricklayer and I had resource and uh, maybe put a uh, this is going to tell me the amount of man hours uh, that the, the bricklayer is doing per month in this particular instance it's particularly useful when you come to materials and things like that as well which aren't so easy to graph inside of uh, your project management tool so here we've got a, a, a set of um, different views, if you like now, a library of views um, to, to look at. Very useful uh, and can be saved from reporting period to reporting period. And then when I come to batch print here, what that would do is that will create one document with all of my batch printed views. So very quickly each period I can create 20, 30, as many, num as many reports as I require uh, very quickly without having, to auto without having to generate them each time. So views are a very important part of the programme.